Hey everybody and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about caves, in particular caves in Rust Edit. So how do you add caves to your custom map and I'll also be showing you how to create your own custom caves which is probably a lot more interesting to do than just plumping in the cave that we already all know. As you can see here this is one of the caves that I've been working on. This is not what we are going to be working on in this video. I'm just going to show you the basics on how to create your own custom caves then it's up to you to get creative and make nice entrances and make it interesting for people or players, whatever you want to say, to walk around in. As always with these longer kind of tutorial videos, there are links in the video description you can click on to watch a certain topic. If I helped you out in any way, please don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want more content like this, then you're really helping me out in return for helping you. Let's dive right in. So I'm first going to show you how to add the normal caves that are in the prefab list under assets, bundles, prefabs, auto spawn, and then monuments and caves. So these are the caves you have at the moment. Three small ones, three medium ones, and three large ones. I will show you how to add those in your map. And then I'll show you how to create your own custom caves, which is, I think, a little bit more interesting. And also how to make sure that if you put a red town under there that the loot spawns in the red town and not upstairs on the floor. I'll show you in a sec if that is confusing. So let's first just add a no more cave. I'm just going to get a small one. Drag it in here. You can, oh, you can see that this is the cave system. But we only really care about where the entrance is. So I'm going to put that kind of where I want it like here um, you don't want to rotate the caves because that's not going to be very good when you're inside so just make sure you don't rotate it make keep it keep it uh, flat and then when you kind of got it in the location click a press height and this will make sure that all the terrain around it is aligned properly and now we just need to uh, make sure that the terrain disappears here so let's go to terrain paint let's go to alpha let's get a small brush and then paint out these this terrain here just make sure it's all gone i think it is just make sure you didn't remove anything weird in the top which sometimes happens like here well this actually seems pretty good to remove it oh looks good i don't think i removed anything weird so in this case we don't have to do anything else if you would go here where the the cutout isn't from the cave and i would go here and just paint in some alpha you wouldn't be able to see this floor but you wouldn't fall through it you can still just walk on it it would just you can just see the floor under it but you cannot, this doesn't allow you to go through the floor. The, build, the cave prefab has this built in. So for our custom cave, we actually need to do this. This is just a little bit of explanation behind the scenes. Let's move on to the custom cave where I would have explained this basically already. But yeah, let's go. <laughs> so when you're going to create a custom cave, you want to look for a place that actually has some height in the terrain. Because at this height, uh, well, this whole map is basically pretty good but if something is like pretty low for a long time for a long period you're not gonna have a lot of room to build something under the terrain because basically this is where our custom cave is going to be under the floor so you need to have a place with a little bit of height to it like this so this is where i'm going to uh, make my custom cave what we're going to do first we're going to make an entrance so I'm going to, you can either just delete all the rocks uh, and then just put a, a gate there, what, I will be, what we will be doing, or you can remove them kind of out of the way, which is usually what I like to be doing. But for this uh, demonstration, I'm just going to remove the rocks. Then we're going to get the prefab and I'm looking for a gate. Of course, you could use anything that has a hole in it or an entrance i just like using the gate train put that in position and i usually make it a big bit bigger and a bit wider to make my work a little bit easier 
like this. Put it into the train. And I want to make sure that this bar is actually cutting into the train as it is doing now, you can see. And then I want to go back to the flatten. Flatten it out a little bit more. Like so. Perfect-ish. Uh, hello? Yes. Um, I actually like this rock kind of through it, so let's keep that for now. So let's go to... Have a look. Yep, looks good. We are now going to go to Prefab. And go to... Uh, let's let's do a demonstration first. I'll do a demonstration first. So we're going to remove this again with the alpha. So I'm not, now I'm just going to paint away the train. And does this look good? Yep, looks perfect actually. Nice. Sometimes when you remove this, um, because of the stretching of the terrain, um, it kind of, here it is like really small pieces, but if you go to the parts that are stretched, you can see that the squares get bigger and definitely where I stretched out the the lowering of the terrain. So sometimes when you want to remove some some uh, terrain here, it actually removes the terrain up here. The easiest thing to do then is just go to the prefab list, search for a rock or a... Hello? Yes, rock. And just put some small rocks behind here to cover up the uh, alpha being removed from the terrain and also make sure they cannot look through it and stuff. Um, but this time I think we're pretty perfect. Um, so I'll demonstrate now that you can not walk through this even though it looks like you can walk through it. Um, and that's why we need to do the terrain trigger and put it in here so it actually allows us to walk through it. So let's do the terrain trigger. Let's go to prefab and let's not search for anything. Just go to modding and we have the terrain trigger. If we drag that in here, we get a square. And you probably already see it coming. We want this to cut the train. So we're going to put this right where the bar is, because we know that this bar is what is cutting the train, kind of. So you want to put it like this. And just make it a little bit higher like this. Should be good. Now you want to make sure that you're not cutting the floor. So people fall through it. Well, I'll show you first that this actually works. So as you can see, that works, but doesn't really work. So we need to add a floor and actually make sure that we fully encompass our custom cave. And then we can put some stuff in it. So go to the prefab list and search for slap. That's what I like to use. And you got these concrete slabs. And there's one, I think it's this one. Yep, yeah, that is like completely solid. So I like to use this as a floor also because it's square and it has like it's repeating pattern. It doesn't really care if you make it really, really big. Um, if you want to have a huge cave because it doesn't look weird. So that's also a big plus point. You don't have to duplicate this, move it over and keep on doing that. Just make the whole thing huge. It also saves in prefab count. Anyway, we're going to make a floor. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker because I like thick. Sorry. Um, and then move it down. So now we should have a seamless um, transition from the world floor to our slab. And also the train trigger shouldn't touch our uh, uh, floor. And if it does, it shouldn't matter because by that time they're already walking on the slab. And the train trigger only works on the train. So the, the concrete slab doesn't care. So that's good. I'm going to use one of these as a start to keep it small. Then duplicate it by doing Control D, kind of move it over, and then this is where our cave is going to be. So I'm going to make that 
bigger. Move it over again. Let's put a red town under here. For example, the warehouse. Oh. So we can see how big our floor needs to be. So this is already kind of okay. Make it a bit bigger. Move it down. So I'm now just looking at the left to align with the other floor like this. Over here. Looks good. Um, you might want to lower this if you don't want the other concrete to show. But why not? It doesn't really matter. If you would walk into this right now, it would look exactly as it looks in the editor. You can look straight through the floor. This would give people a unfair uh, advantage. So we actually have to uh, build our own custom surrounding. I usually like to build um, your use rocks. So just go to prefab list. Search for rock. And you can use cliffs, whatever. Cliffs are usually pretty big. Just rotate them around, move them up and make sure there's no holes. Like don't do it like this because if people find holes and they jump through it and they swim, they will be under the map anyway. So really make sure there's no way to get out, no way to jump out. Test this thoroughly in the game and make sure when you make this that all the angles are covered. So something like this, and then just take a look. Well, I have a lot, of, a lot of height to play with, so I shouldn't be sticking through the roof, but so far at least there's no roof on there. But sometimes when you build these rocks, they actually stick through the floor. So make sure there's nothing weird uh, above the floor. This is all good. Now just put on a roof. So I'm just going to take this one, duplicate it, rotate it, and move it up. So this cool looks kind of good. Oh, no, doesn't. No, it does look kind of good. Um, but this doesn't because the terrain is transparent if you look from it uh, at the wrong angle, as you can see. So if people look back when they're in the cave, they can watch through this. So we need to fill this up with rocks too. Okay, so this is as perfect as I'm going to make it right now. And I will just show you that this works, but it still doesn't work. So as you can see, now everything should be working, uh, kind of cave-wise. We got a roof. We can see there's still a few spots that we need to fill up, but just make sure you run around, look at it, and just edit it in Rust Edit. Everything works. The recycler works. Doors work over there. I'll show you. The repair bench works. But there is no loot, as you probably already noticed. But the loot actually spawns up on the floor. So that's a little bit of a problem because you probably don't want to have random crates spawn up on the floor at no particular reason, it seems like. <laughs> um, so let's fix that. If we go back to the modded section and we take the terrain trigger again, and we're now going to use this for a different purpose, we're going to encompass it or we're going to encompass whatever red town we have fully with it. So like this and make sure that all the places where loot spawns is completely encompassed with it. 
so this should be good uh, let's test again so as you can see when i walk into the terrain trigger which is not visible in the game it gets dark because I th it thinks i'm in the in the train aka in a cave um and when you walk out it will gradually make it light again so you might want to fully encompass your cave with the train trigger and not just the red town but i wanted to show you what happens when you walk in and out of that zone everything else is working loot is spawning properly so now it's up to you to get creative and make more beautiful things than this empty cave good luck have fun once again if i helped you out leave a like subscribe thanks guys Thank you very much for watching. Click on the left thumbnail for my most recent uploads or click on the right for a video that suits you best. As always, have a very nice day. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>